Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome you to the announcement of the Marcus Wallenberg Prize 2022. My name is Mikael Hannus and I'm the executive secretary for the prize. With me here today, I have the chairperson of the selection committee, Professor Johanna Buchert. But before we actually announce the prize, I want to give you a short introduction. The objective of the prize is to encourage scientific research by awarding an international prize called Marcus Wallenberg Prize. This is within the scope to recognize, encourage and stimulate path-breaking scientific achievements, which significantly contribute to broader knowledge and technical development within the broad fields of interest to the forest-based industry. The possibility to fulfill the objective, that relies on nominations for the prize. And this year's nomination period is now open. We are happy to receive new nominations until the end of April. So please visit our webpage mwp.org and there find the online nomination form we have available. Last year we had a record number of nominations and we hope to set a new record this year. But that can only happen with your help. But now it's time to announce the Marcus Wallenberg Prize of 2022. And this is the 38th time the prize is awarded to prominent laureates. Please, Johanna. Which scientific progress and impact is awarded this year? So, my name is Johanna Buchert, and as the chairperson of the Markus Wallenberg Prize Committee, I have the honor to announce the Markus Wallenberg Prize for the year 2022. The 2022 Markus Wallenberg Prize is awarded to Professor Ilka Kilpeläinen and Professor Herbert Sixta for the development and use of novel ionic liquids to process wood biomass into high-performance textile fibers. The future demand for textile fibers is growing due to global population growth. Production of cotton, the predominantly used cellulose fiber, for textiles is not expected to keep up with the demand. Therefore, man-made cellulose fibers would be an excellent complement to cotton, as these fibers have similar properties. Current processes used to manufacture man-made cellulosic fibers have certain technical or environmental challenges. Furthermore, production of cotton is regarded less environmentally friendly. These challenges have led to extensive research on different solvent systems for cellulose to produce regenerated cellulose fibers. Ionic liquids are efficient and green alternatives for cellulose solubilization. Ionic liquids are salts that can be melted below 100 centigrade and have high dissolving capability of different organic and inorganic substances. The collaboration of the prize laureates was exceptional and clearly multidisciplinary. One laureate was designing the most efficient ionic liquids for cellulose solubilization, whereas the other was developing the ionic liquid-based fiber shaping process based on dry jet wet spinning. And as a result of this cooperation, novel man-made cellulose fibers from wood with high technical quality have been developed jointly by these two researchers and their teams. This unique collaboration has resulted in really novel, sustainable concept for textile fiber production from wood. And the innovation is expected to result in a large range of new product and business opportunities for the forest industry. With these words, I would like to invite professors Ilka Kilpeläinen from the University of Helsinki and Herbert Sixta from the Aalto University to the podium. 
My greatest congratulations for your groundbreaking achievements. Congratulations, Ika. And congratulations, Helga. Congratulations. Maybe also take the opportunity to pose some questions to you at this point in time. And uh, first to, to uh, Professor Kilpeleinen. What are the key factors in your view that, have, uh, that need to be in place to make excellent research results like, like the, yours to emerge? That is a very broad question, to be honest. <laughs> what, is, what has been exceptional in this case was that actually there were many parties with the same target. There was industrial interest towards making uh, dissolution of cellulose and, and regeneration into textile fibers. Then, in addition, there was other group being able to make this in hand. And from our part, it also meant that we had a good team, I would say three to four people who were actually really putting their effort to make this happen. So I would say that it is going to be always a teamwork. And in this case, the team was actually not only the research team, but it was also the industrial partners who were showing their interest, not only money-wise, but being able to support in many other aspects as well and giving the motivation to the work. And then you had another motivated group where they could actually continue from our part. Thank you. And Professor Sixta, how would you describe the impact of your research on the textile uh, production in the coming years? And when can we as regular customers then expect to, to be able to, to buy garments made from these excellent cellulose-based fibers? The development of this ion cell fiber process is on the turn from the laboratory to the pilot plant. Due to the big interest from companies uh, from all over the world and also due to the uh, ice progress we had, our management uh, supported us in investing a small pilot plant. And this pilot plant uh, was uh, built uh, during the pandemic and has uh, started its operation a few months ago. And uh, the current results are very, very promising. And uh, due to the high attractiveness to the industry, we have decided now, or the university has decided now to launch a startup company which is uh, um, ready to be launched uh, in the next weeks, I would say. And therefore, the uh, next step of development is now in preparation. And we are uh, extremely delighted to see so much interest from especially uh, design companies, also from companies who uh, intend uh, to diversify their production portfolio in the processing industry and uh, see the necessity to basically uh, develop sustainable new uh, and strong fibers, uh, not only for textiles, but also for the in the future for technical applications. Very exciting. Thank you. Uh, we are looking forward uh, to more uh, interaction and, and possibilities to go deeper uh, into the area of this research. Uh, because an important part of the Marcus Wallenberg Prize is to arrange a symposium uh, on the topic that we are that, that is awarded. Uh, this year the symposium will take place on October 11 and it will be broadcasted online in order to make it available for as many viewers as possible. More information will follow in our communications via newsletters, web page and in the social media channels. Please stay tuned. That was all for today. Please join us in congratulating Professor Ilka Kilpeläinen and Professor Herbert Sixta, the Markus Wallenberg Prize Laureates 2022.